Okay, before I start this video off, I want to say I'm not looking at this as a fan. I'm looking at this as an analyst and trying to talk facts in my... Well, I'm, I'm going to say my opinion and what I really think. I'm not going to do this as a fan. I'm going to talk about this as an analyst. So let's jump right in. Today, the Dodgers get Trevor Bauer. And <clears throat> if you guys didn't see my reaction video to that, it's only like a minute long. I'd go check it out. I was all hyped. I was screaming and yelling and, you know, doing some crazy stuff. But anyway, <clears throat> here we are. Whose rotation's better in the NL West now? You got the Padres, who went out and got Blake Snell, you Darvish. They have Lamette, Joe Musgrave, and Chris Paddock. Then the Dodgers have Clayton Kershaw, Walker Buehler, Trevor Bauer, David Price, and now Julio Rios. And you can throw Dustin May in there. Let me write that down. Just in case. All right, you can throw Dustin May in there. Um, for the Padres, I don't really know anybody else. But as a Dodger fan, of course, I know my team pretty much. But anyway, back to the analyzation. So, in my opinion, who has the better lineup? That's one of the biggest questions going into 2021. I mean, who has the better rotation on lineup? Who has the better rotation? In my opinion... I'm going to say the Dodgers right now. Just right now. Because, all right, you got Blake Snell. He dominated the Dodgers in the World Series. But the Dodgers will probably figure him out by facing him more. You got you Darvish, who was a Cy Young candidate last year. You got Lamette, who dominates L.A. And I mean dominates L.A. Like, I've seen him, like, make us look silly. And it, it I don't even like to talk about him because he always does it. You got Joe Musgrave, who... Yeah, they signed, well, they traded for him, but in the long run, Joe Musgrave has never been a good pitcher. He, he Well, he's been decent. Not I'm not saying he's bad. He's been decent. But for the past few years, I don't think he's been as good as he could be. Then you got Chris Paddock, who, rookie year, was phenomenal, was killing it. And then he faced the Dodgers, where the Dodgers raked him. They made him look bad. And teams started figuring him out after that game, I'm pretty sure. Because last year, Chris Paddock, you know, he had the nickname the Sheriff his first year. Yes, he had it last year, but no one was scared of him. And and plus he dealt with an injury because I, I don't even remember him pitching in a, the NL, in the NL wild card against L.A. And if he did, then I just remember we won a World Series this year. But anyway... Then you got Chris Paddock, who was really good his rookie year. Last year was okay, and probably, and I think he had injuries, if I'm correct. And then you got the Dodgers lineup. You got Clayton Kershaw, a Cy Young winner. You got Walker Buehler, who's definitely going to be a Cy Young winner in the future, I'm pretty sure. You got Trevor Bauer, who's a Cy Young winner. You got David Price, if, if he's in, if he, if he's in the season, if he opts out, then. We lose him. And then you got Julio Rios, who Dave Roberts likes to put in the bullpen, make him a starter, put him in the bullpen, make him a starter. So that's kind of on question. And then you got Dustin May, where he does the same exact thing. What Dave Roberts does the same exact thing with Dustin May. He in the bullpen, starter, in the bullpen, starter, in the bullpen. So, <clears throat> but if if the rotation would go, Kershaw, Bueller, Bauer, Price, Arias, or May, you could throw whoever there you want. And if the Padres have Snell, Darvish, Lamette, Musgrave, and Paddock, they're really good lineups. But in my opinion, and, and just based off facts right now, I'm taking LA's lineup. I mean, starting rotation. Because Kershaw's one. A Cy Young, which, yes, he's older, and yes, he's not as good as he used to. Well, hell, I wouldn't even say he's bad. People say he's been bad in the postseason. Yeah, he has until this year. He did absolutely phenomenal. And could it be because of a, a shortened season? Maybe. I don't know. But, you know, it, MLB counts us as a World Series win, and I'm going to count it as a World Series win because if it was anybody else's team, they would say it was a World Series win. Anyway, then you go to Walker Buehler. Like I said, could win a Cy Young. Then you go to Trevor Bauer. Won a Cy Young last year. But then again, with you Darvish, he, he was a runner-up. 
and and Blake Snell's one of Cy Young, you know. And then you got Arias, who sometimes he's iffy and sometimes he's lights out. Then you got Dustin May, who's lights out, and then sometimes he's iffy. He's more lights out than iffy. And Arias is more uh, when he's when he's coming out as a starter than he does in a bullpen, where he comes out from the bullpen. So right now, I'm taking the Dodgers lineup. Any, I mean, rotation any day of the week, but. Padre fans, this is another thing you guys got to be excited about. You guys have Mike Clevenger. The problem is, is that he's hurt. And with coming off of Tommy John surgery, that could take a minute to, you know, get, get healed. But that doesn't mean if you guys get to the playoffs, if he can't come back. Because that's happened before. And I... <laughs> If, if you move Joe Musgrave and you put him into the bullpen and you get Mike Clevenger in that spot, then, you, well, if it was that, I'd want it to go Snell, Darvish, Clevenger, Lamette, and then Chris Paddock. But if you can get Mike Clevenger back, you have a shot. You have a shot now, but you have a better chance with Mike Clevenger in the lineup to be better than the, be, better than the Dodgers rotation. And... That's that's the honest truth. The the Padres have a hell of a starting rotation, but I think the one key piece they're missing right now is Mike Clevenger to be better than the Dodgers rotation. And that's just my opinion. You guys can tell me what you guys think down in the comments. But once Mike Clevenger comes back, and if they could move Joe Musgrave into the bullpen and have him come out in big moments or to throw innings, then perfect for the Padres. But right now... The Dodgers have the better starting rotation, and I think they have the better bullpen, but I'm not going to get into that. <clears throat> and and with, and with Well, I'm going to get into that a little bit. With Kirby Yates going to the Blue Jays, that, that's a huge loss for the Padres. The Dodgers haven't... The big, the big thing they did this year was sign Blake Trinan to a two-year deal. That was beautiful, and then... Corey Knable, you know, he, we're questioning about him because he's coming off of Tommy John surgery. Bruce Stark Gratterall, he's a star in the future, I'm pretty sure, if coming out of the bullpen like he was this year. But there's so many ifs, what's, or buts. But right now, I'm taking the Dodgers rotation. I'm going to circle that up really quick. So I'm going to take the Dodgers rotation right now. In the future, it may change. But I'm pretty sure the Dodgers have a better rotation now that we got Trevor Bauer and... They don't have Mike Clevenger yet, but we'll have to see and wait what the season looks like. Uh, you know, and and honestly, to all the NOS teams, you know, the pod, not the Padres, the the D backs, the Rockies, the Giants, they're they're out of contention to win the West right now. The biggest rivalry in the West is the Padres and the Dodgers, and and you can't say I'm not spitting facts, spitting facts, saying facts. So, you guys tell me who you guys think who has the better rotation. And if you guys see some other news I don't see or know something I don't know, comment down below and tell me who you think has the better rotation. Um, I, like I said, once Mike Clevenger comes back, my opinion might change because Mike Clevenger is pretty nasty. So, like, comment, subscribe. And uh, so glad the Dodgers got Trevor Bauer.